using the scanning. To use the scanning, I simply click on the scanner icon. Once scanned, the document will open automatically. Here, it has been scanned into PDF and opens in Adobe Acrobat. To change the desired output method, select the format from the scanning drop-down menu. Scanning into PDF will produce a near-perfect image of the original text. PDF Allowed can then be used to read the document. Scanning into Word means the full editing functionality provided with Word can be used. You can cut, copy, delete, and add your own text. When scanning into HTML, you can use web highlighting to read the text. If necessary, I can change which driver I want to use. WIA or Twain, depending on which device I want to scan from. Alternatively, I can scan from a saved image file. Adapting the scanning. If we open the scanning options, Here you can see the scanner can be easily selected from this drop-down list and you can also choose to hide or display the scanner's program. The image resolution can be changed here. The document can be scanned in monochrome, grayscale, or full color. The brightness and contrast of this scan document can be adjusted here. You have the option to scan single pages or multiple pages. With Scan Multiple Pages, if you would like a message displayed each time a page is scanned, choose Multiple Pages with Prompt. If you would like to automatically scan a page every few seconds, choose Multiple Pages with Countdown and enter the number of seconds you will need to change the page on the scanner. On the Output Settings tab of Scanning Options, you can select how the document should be saved. If you prefer not to save the document, select Temporary File Slash Folder. If you would like to enter a document name and choose a location each time you scan something, select this option. If you would like all scanned documents saved to the same locations, choose this option. Additional format settings can be changed according to the document type you are producing using these buttons.